Welcome to Whiskey and Wit. I'm Whitney and today's video is going to be a, another DIY. I have seen folks all over the interwebs <laughs> creating these egg garlands and I thought this would be awesome to fill some areas within my house where I really want some extra kind of garland flair or also some radon flair. So I've got a radon version for you, a non-radon version for you, and then just a third version because I had extra supplies and I wanted to share that idea with you too. So let's get started. First, let's talk supplies. So I used some white plastic dyeable eggs that I got from Walmart. I grabbed assorted wood beads, a long needle that is gonna be able to thread the thread through your eggs, some embroidery thread, and then from the Dollar Tree, I used jute twine. So I made sure to grab embroidery thread that matched the approximate color of my jute twine, so then that way everything kind of meshed. So up first, this kind of traditional but stained wood bead garland. So the first step is to stain your beads. I got this container of assorted beads at Michael's. I had one container of assorted beads that were on the larger side and one on the smaller side. I will link everything I use down below. But I went through and just used an old piece of t-shirt with some Minwax dark walnut stain and just kind of rubbed it around the beads. While those were drying, I wanted to drill holes in my eggs. This, I just used a regular drill and you're going to want to make sure that your drill bit is either the same size or bigger than the needle that you got because you want the needle to be able to fit through even with the eye at the end. And so this one I ended up grabbing at Michael's. I will link the set I used down below in case you wanna do an online pickup order from them. And then I strung my beads. So the pattern I used here were two super small beads, then a medium, a large, a medium, and then two little beads again. I like the contrast and every other bead garland I have in my house are all the same size. So I wanted to do something different. And then I went through and used my needle to get the string through the egg. And then I just repeated that step. I ended up doing six eggs on here, so half of the dozen eggs, and then I went through and made tassels for each end of the garland just to finish it off with jute twine from the Dollar Tree. Once the tassel was created, I strung the piece of embroidery thread through the top end of the tassel. And then I just went ahead and did about four knots just to make sure that it was secure. And here's the finished product. Now you can use that same process to create a radon set of these eggs. And so I ended up doing the unfinished wood beads here. I did a little bit different of a pattern that's honestly up to you. I did four super small ones with a medium in the center. And then I just went through with some decals and added them. I actually used the font Amatic on here and I really like how it turned out. It's a little bit thicker and it helps it stand out on my display here that's on my dining room table. And then I also used a similar thought process to create a long strand with just one egg at the end. So same font for hip hop, but I just did those little guys. And this is so versatile. I really love how it adds to my vignettes where it's not super, super like pastel Easter, but you still get that vibe, especially here with my tray. And they're so easy to make. I love all three versions. They're all currently up in my house. If you are not a Ray Dunn collector, you could definitely put whatever font you want on there. You could handwrite. That would be a really cute thing if you wanted to allow your kids to decorate the eggs and then string them um, just because they are the dyeable eggs from Walmart. So there are a ton of different options. You could have them write their name. You could kind of add like each year, like add another egg. There's so many different things and you could tell that I'm like got mom brain going because I am thinking about all these ideas for little kiddos. If you are new, please hit subscribe down below so you don't miss a future whiskey and wit video. Thanks again for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.